Absolutely. In fact, the number of empty shops, or sorry, the number of shops on our high streets has been falling for 10 years. So this is something that goes back quite a while. It's a structural change. My view is high streets, and this is something that Mary Portis has said and others have said, high streets need to change. So there's a range of activity beyond retail, leisure, hospitality, services, you know, a lot of GP surgeries, that sort of thing, but also some housing as well on the edge of the town centre where perhaps those high streets were once residential, were converted 10 or 15 years ago to a secondary shop parade, is struggling today, let's get that back into residential, let's get people back into the town centre so that we can actually see a growth in the middle. Are you making it harder for them to set up out of town? What we've done with the National Planning Policy Framework is to set out quite clearly there has to be a test, a robust test, they call it in technical terms a sequential test. You've got to show that actually you uh, cannot uh, develop outside of town uh, without making any adverse impact on the town centre itself. It's quite a robust test and that's important to have it clearly in planning law. Um, what about helping companies to set up on the high street, retailers mm -hmm. to set up on the high street? Mm -hmm. Are you making it any easier for them to do that? Yeah, I mean, I used to run a business before I went into politics, and so I know that the critical things are costs and the availability of space. So we've helped boost the whole pop-up shop movement. This is where, for very low cost, a startup business can get right onto the high street. And in fact, we as a department have established our own pop-up shop where 50 local businesses have been able to come through and trade, get in front of the public. But we've also wanted to make sure we deal with costs. And that's where we've been helping small businesses with their business rates.